it's Deja and Ivy, and welcome back to Squared. We are your Saturdays here on Squared, and for this week's video, we are going to be doing a VidCon survival guide. We went last year to VidCon for our very first time, and mm -hmm. we will most likely be going this year. So if you guys want a chance to meet us, hang out with us, do so. Please do come. so. If you're going to VidCon, let us know in the comments if you but, plan um, on it. Yeah, so no. we decided um, since last year was our first time going and we sort of got some experience from that, that we should make a tip slash survival guide for anyone else who might be going to VidCon for their first time this year. Mm -hmm. And um, we have some pretty good tips for you guys and um, can't wait to share them with you. Yes. So, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe down below to the Square channel. The first tip for our VidCon survival guide is VidCon prep. VidCon preparation, basically. So know basically what ticket you're gonna be getting. Know exactly what ticket you want to get because there's three tickets. There's the community, there's a creator, and the industry. Now, there were early bird prices for these, but they all sold out, so you do have to pay full price for every single one of these. But um, know what ticket you're getting um, the community basically gets everything, but you don't get to go to the second floor. Last year, we got the Creator Pass, which is most definitely going to be the one we're getting this year as well. But, um, and the Creator Pass is really good because mm -hmm. you get to go to the second floor, which is where a lot of the other creators are, and that's where we bumped into a lot of creators. A lot of our And that's how we YouTubers. met a lot of the YouTubers, Viners, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So the next thing is... Figuring out where or how you're going to get to VidCon. If you don't know, VidCon is in Anaheim, California. So you need to figure out if you're not from California or if you're not living in Anaheim or I don't know, you need to figure out how to get, get there. there or where you're going to be staying. So if you're gonna be driving to Anaheim, figure out how long the drive is, that way you know exactly, because traffic's gonna be crazy. Yeah, um, honestly. Um, so prepare Especially yourself. Especially people are barely going, like on the very first day of VidCon, if they're barely arriving, traffic's gonna be crazy. And then so. if you're staying at a hotel, try and book your hotel at least four to five months in advance. If you yes. can't book it in four to five months in advance, then one month in advance. And but try and get it pretty close to the, the convention, convention center. center. For Divey and I last uh, year, our dad found this really, really, really nice hotel mm -hmm. um, that was really inexpensive. We got free breakfast too. It was really nice. It was only like 125 a night. And other people, this other lady that we met that was um, actually, she was staying, at, she was going to Disneyland, but she was staying out there. Um, she was paying a thousand dollars a night for mm -hmm. her hotel. And she was like so like upset when she found, found out, out that as we were paying yeah. 125 for the three of us. And she was like, OMG, you have to tell me what hotel you guys are staying at. So we told her and everything. But um, yeah, so definitely try and get a good hotel, mm -hmm. look for hotels, and try and find the cheapest, not the cheapest, cheapest? but try and find the one that best suits your you. budget. Okay, so this next tip is what to bring for VidCon. Obviously, you're gonna bring your clothes and all that, but we mean like what to bring while you're walking around, around the convention center. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna bring is gum. You're gonna need gum because you're gonna be meeting some of your favorite creators, and I know none of you guys wanna have bad breath when you're meeting your favorite creators. Yeah. <laughs> you're also going to want to have deodorant because it's going to be hot, you might be sweating, you wanna freshen up, so do that. You're also going to need to bring um, snacks. Snacks mm -hmm. are a big thing because you don't want to have to leave the convention to center, center to go get food, really, because yeah. if you do, you might miss out on one of your favorite creators. creators. Or you might do what we did last year at VidCon. We would leave, leave to get like food like at McDonald's or something, and, and then, then we'd get so, so full that we'd get sleepy, sleepy, and then we'd go back to our hotel, hotel, say that we would go back, but then we'd end up falling asleep and not come back until the next day. <laughs> are so you gonna, oh, fourth thing. Sunscreen. Make sure you bring sunscreen. It might be hot, so definitely you don't bring want that. to get a sunburn. You don't. Yeah, it's 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 not really really hot, but it's pretty hot. It's hot. So, so bring sunscreen. And the last thing that I recommend bringing is money. That way you can go if you do get super hungry and you have to buy some of the expensive food from some of the. Or if you want to buy some merch, bring oh, yes, at least like a day, cause. I, 
we didn't really buy any merchandise or anything a lot of the stuff we did a lot of stuff to where you get a lot of free things which mm -hmm. is nice there's a lot of free stuff at vidcon Con. get all the free stuff go to like yes. every booth that has free stuff and get all the free stuff mm -hmm. our next tip for vidcon is what to do so many people when they think of like vidcon you know knowing it's for three days and you're you sort of get overwhelmed because there's so much stuff that you can do, do. that you don't know especially what when you to look do. at the schedule and you see all the panels there are and all the cool stuff you can go to you're gonna get overwhelmed so make sure you make a schedule they have on their app to where you can actually make your own little vidcon schedule and where it like gives you like little reminders like hey um the something something panel from 12 30 to 1 and then like you're like oh yeah i forgot okay let's go over there mm -hmm. you know um but basically like i would suggest because they last year they had this i'm not sure if they have this every year but they had like movie nights like every single mm, night of this is something that's really cool definitely yeah i loved nights. it we only did it the last night, night. it was uh angel but um we want to go every single night and basically what they do is they give you a, your own little like private movie, movie screening or of movie movies premiere. that aren't even out yet, yet. and so. you get to be some of the first people to see it and when we went we went to go see nerve, nerve. and emma roberts was there that was so cool seeing her in person mm -hmm. definitely oh and frankie grande was also there they kind of announced it before it like started yeah so that but, was pretty um, cool also you should definitely in the expo hall go to most of the booths Ooh. because one they have free stuff they have games you can mm -hmm. play there's so many like little things like the this one game was like a jousting thing where you hit oh, each other yeah. with the thing that, yeah, was, that fun. was really fun that we did um, yeah. So definitely go to all the booths if you can, and then I know the Dove booth was giving out free chocolate. Yeah, a lot of the booths give out free candy and mm -hmm. stuff. So if you guys don't have any snacks, just go to the booths and you know see which one's giving out free snacks. snacks. So that's yeah. good. Okay, our last tip for VidCon, and this is the most important tip, but it is stay at the convention center. Um, we can't stress that enough um, because basically, like obviously, you can go off of the convention center but you want to be at the convention center as much as you can mm -hmm. because there are some creators who only go to VidCon for one day or only go to VidCon for two days some go for all three days but some of them don't go for all of the days so you might be at the convention center on the first day and your favorite creators there too and then you go off and then you come back and then they're gone you know mm -hmm. and they're not there anymore for the next few days so you never get to meet them thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video remember to give it a big thumbs up and also check out our main channel yes if you guys would like to see yesterday's video be sure to click right over there if you would like to see more of us click right up there and if you would like to subscribe to squared click right over here we'll see you guys all next time bye, bye.